What's up, guys? Um, yeah. We hit 50,000 freaking subscribers on here. I'm honestly blown away by that. And uh, I don't know if I told y'all or not, but I'm getting a freaking BTS tattoo now. I haven't got it booked yet. I have sent a message out. So I am working on getting that set up. It's going to be somewhere around this area on my arm. And it's going to say life goes on. So it's just going to be a reminder for myself and anybody that's checking it out. Um, that no matter what you're going through in life, life is going to go on and it's going to get better. I feel like life has seasons, some good, some bad, and, uh, life is just going to continue to happen whether you want it to or not. So that's going to happen on my arm somewhere in here. It's kind of like my, uh, it's kind of like my inspirational arm in a sense, because I've got first Peter five, seven on here. I've got live it. I've got my old band logo on the back of my arm, which you can't really see very good, but I've got my band's logo back there. I got a lot of random tattoos on my arm there. But we're going to do a little Q&A. And I had no clue how to do this. So really, I'm just going to set it up like this. And we're going to have some lo-fi music playing in the background. And I just wanted to say, guys, for real, everybody that's watching this right now, whether you're in a live chat, whether you're watching this afterwards, whenever you're watching this, sincerely, it means the world to me that you're watching my videos, that you're engaging with me, that you're talking to me. I love everybody that sends me a message thank you guys everybody that comments down below thank y'all it's been such a freaking like journey for sure and i was gonna say it's been such a year but it hasn't even been a year yet guys y'all have like blown my channel up and send me so much freaking i say spread positivity out there i feel like y'all are just giving it all to me sometimes i'm like thank y'all thank y'all so much spread it out give it to everyone for real but um so sincerely from the bottom of my heart thank y'all very much for this entire epic journey i cannot wait for everything that happens in the future we've got a dallas meetup i'm going to be trying to do like more streamer meetups and traveling a lot and if i'm in the area that you guys are in let's grab some food i'm totally down seriously like i'm an open book and i am a very random the same dude that you see on camera right now is the same dude that will come and hang out with you so either way just know that i don't know do a lot of people like put on some weird persona where they're like ah, but they're not anything like that i'm not sure either way we've got a lot of questions and so we're doing a q a i'm not really sure a better way to do this besides Boom, this reaction screen. So we're gonna be answering them like this right here. I'm gonna be pulling up your comments. If you're on here, please just say hello or something like that in the chat. But Jennifer said, having been in a band, do you feel yourself drawn to them or fascinated by the fact that there are seven men who have been in a band for 10 plus years and they still love each other and support each other's solo endeavors? Do you miss or probably envy the dynamic synergy uh, they have with one another as a bandmates. I definitely wouldn't say that like, I mean, some part of me probably envies that in a way, but it, I wouldn't even say that. Like, I don't envy that really. I really just, it, it makes me happy for them if more than anything. Like, you, like there's definitely a part down in me that's like, oh man, I wish I had that camaraderie or something like that. But for me personally, it's more like, I'm happy for them that they found that. I think that's really cool. I've had that in my life. It's not seven members for, for sure, but um, I don't know. Anytime I've ever been in a band setting, it's always been, you know, like my brother's actually been in a ton of bands with me. He's a really good guitarist as well too. And actually some of the guitars hanging up behind me are his guitars. Um, so like, yeah, I've always, I've, I've been in a lot of band settings and I always really love them. Um, but do I feel myself drawn to them or fascinated by the fact that there's seven of them for 10 years? I'm definitely drawn to that. I'm definitely fascinated by that. And I look at it almost more like they're brothers now more than band members. So I have to remind myself often that they're not like, like relatives. They're not related. They're like, um, in a band and then they are these individuals as well too. So I have to constantly remind myself that like whenever I'm like, I wonder what they're doing right now. I think they're probably even in some ways closer than brothers like blood brothers would be as well too they've experienced so much together and like you said 10 years and uh so yeah i love that i don't think that i envy it i think that more than anything i just really admire that i think it's beautiful and i wish that more bands are like that i think a lot of bands strive to be 
as close as bts are even in that same genre even in that same atmosphere they want like bts is just their relationship is probably the gold standard now for bands but all right hopefully that answers your question though that was a really good question thank you jennifer wow next one we got from april it says definitely ot7 but like you, Jin is my bias. What made Jin your bias? After watching several reactors, you're one of the few I subscribe to. Your reactions seem true and heartfelt. Oh, thank you so freaking much. It's a really easy answer. So I was watching the intro and I'd already kind of like, I'm a very like, I can remember your face, but can't really remember your name type person sometimes. I'm really, if I've seen you once, I'll remember that time that I saw you. I might not remember your name if you tell me it five times though. So Jin kind of caught my eye first, kind of caught my ear a little bit first as well, because whenever I saw him singing, he was putting a lot of like power into his voice. And I really related to that. And I hadn't seen a lot of their stuff like um, Run BTS or anything like that. So I hadn't really gotten a feel for his character yet. I was watching Taylor's intro to BTS and what he said, I think that there was actually in Bon Voyage or it might have been in the soup. But whenever he said that, um, he really just tries to bring that positive energy out and he tries to bring like, I don't know, happiness to other band members and stuff. He always wants to be that positive light in the world. And I was like, man, that's me. That's me a lot. I try to do that quite often wherever I'm at. I just try to always be like, ah, you know? And um, it's not something I even like think about doing. I just try to be like that because it, it's just funner to live my life that way, I guess. I don't know. So I really related to that. And then um, every song that he soloed, Epiphany really freaking got to me. And it really struck a chord with me. It really helped me grow as a, a lot as a person. And so I owe Jen a lot for that too, man. Epiphany is beautiful. And uh, so those things, that really sealed the deal for me. Epiphany sealed the deal for Jen, for me. And I just love his spirit. And also both of us are in a lot of food that we're like both obsessed with food and ramen. I don't know, man. I love that dude to death. He's freaking hilarious. And a very hard worker too as well. Like, I mean, the fact that he got picked up for looks alone almost and then became such an amazing vocalist a dancer i mean he can play piano he's he's an amazing person man he's a very hard worker too so i relate to that as well thank you for the question april wapow this one's a long one but we're gonna read the whole thing melissa thank you so much for freaking writing this you said i'm so glad to have found you so early on in your bts journey your sincere very knowledgeable musical music background reactions make me a permanent subscriber Aw, for real thank you seeing you react month after month uh reassuring what i already knew about bts but seeing you watch it for the first time made me fall in love and appreciate bts all over again i'm always looking forward to your videos many blessings to you and your wonderful family for real melissa thank you so freaking much that is so sweet oh my god my question is what is the BTS song and YouTube video that you had on repeat the most since you found out about it? That is a very easy answer for me. I've got you, but, uh, and if you have previously reacted to it, would you react to another version of it? Yes. Okay. Uh, kind of like, mm, mm, mm. kind of like my top five, anything BTS videos for sure. So yes, 1000% idol. I absolutely love that song. I love that music video. I would react to any version of that. If there's other live performances, I would react to every single freaking idol. There is, I freaking love that song so much. I think it's like, I love the message of it. And the funny thing is the time that like I Meg actually had it on my reaction calendar, like way in the future. And I was going through some stuff. I had some haters on my channel. And that's actually where we got the name Army Bots from. But I had some people being like, ah, oh, all these views are fake. All these freaking live viewers and all these freaking views you're getting on your channel are fake. And all your subs and stuff. And uh, they were saying that we were like botting all of our stuff. And um, and they were friends of mine. And there were people that I was like helping out as a streamer. And I thought that we were cool. And I don't know. Either way, um, I started getting like kind of hateful messages from them and their whole community. And then... Uh, Meg sent me idol and she was like you should listen to this song so it was like the perfect song at the perfect time and it's the perfect message and I absolutely love it so idol for sure and now I don't really even think about that whole time as far as like why I like that song I just love that song so definitely thank you so much for the kind words and for the question Melissa for real thank you pow 
This one is from Shay Lee. It says, what was most challenging for you being a reactor and how did you overcome that challenge? Hmm. So as far as like the actual reactions and stuff like that, I just kind of make it all up as I go. I don't really know what I'm doing. I'm just watching stuff reacting and like, I don't know, just having an experience, I guess, and filming my experience. So it's not really, I wouldn't say anything with that is challenging. Um, learning a lot of the tech stuff on the back end is kind of hard and there's always some type of like a tech problem that arises. Like every single day there's a new tech problem. And as far as how I overcome it, Google first, and if Google's got nothing since I'm on a Mac and Google really doesn't have a lot of Mac answers, I just wing it. I just keep on trying something until it does work. And I don't stop. I'm very tenacious. I'll just keep trying something until it does work. Um, but yeah, that's probably the most challenging tech problems, man. I'm telling you, they're everywhere. You get riddled with tech problems. Even this video, who knows what's going to happen? We're, we're winging it. But Shaylee, for real, thank you for the question. Mm -mm. <laughs> uh, I love your name. Eat your face, Thomas. <laughs> uh, from all the new songs you've listened, reacted to, which ones are your favorite? Okay, so this spans like BTS. This spans everything. So for BTS, for sure, I really like, I mean, life goes on. Got me. It freaking broke with this man that you're seeing right here. Okay, I'm a new creation after that, after that song, after that whole reaction session. It wasn't just like... It wasn't just the song, it was like the progression of that video. Because like, man, I had like all the emotions. So for sure, I absolutely love that one. There's been some really cool ones too as well outside of it. Like uh, I really love Fujikaza. So Fujikaza, anything by him, freaking love that. Um, God, there's so many, Pentatonix is amazing. You could go through the list of freaking like, uh, just people that are doing straight acapella stuff like Home Free, Pentatonix love both of those bands to death there's so many there's too many almost to say freaking one okay rock absolutely love them i have them on repeat actually they i've got a lot of their songs on my workout stuff which is kind of crazy used to all of my workout playlist was just like screaming metal now it's like bts fire freaking one okay rock there's like so many different artists on here that y'all have suggested to me so thank you but yeah as far as new songs hmm I don't know, man. I, I don't know, like, the newest song that I've heard recently that I'm just, like, I'm blown away by. Except for, can I tell y'all, I'm actually recording this on Friday at 9.44 p.m. And Jimin's new song, Set Me Free Part 2, freaking knocked me out of my chair almost. So probably that one at the moment. But that's not, like, picking favorites. That's just, like, the newest song, and it absolutely crushes. Eat Your Face, Thomas. I love your freaking name. Hilarious. Thank you for the question. Okay, here we go. This one's from Sherry, and thank you so much. You said, what have you enjoyed the most in your BTS journey? This is like such, I have a very long-winded answer for this, okay? But to be honest, I've grown a lot as a person. Like before, I was very guarded, and I was very like, I don't know, man. I wouldn't be close to being emotional at all. I'm very empathetic now after like doing a lot of these reactions. And like, it's not... I don't know how other people do reactions. Um, I don't really watch a lot of other people do reactions. I've got some friends that I will watch some of their reactions, but I don't necessarily do it for like, what, how are they reacting? Like, what are they doing? I just do it to, you know, like support them as my friends. But the way that we do our reactions, like I read the lyrics and I'm a huge lyric fan. So when I'm reading stuff, I'm really trying to think like, what are they trying to tell me? What were they feeling whenever they wrote this song? Like things like that what's the theme of this what am i supposed to be feeling right now so like i really try to absorb those things and really try to take them to heart lyrics for me are like my i don't know like psalms and stuff like that for like religious people it's like their text you know what i mean but for me lyrics are like that's a very meaningful thing to me so whenever i'm going through a good moment in my life i'll be singing a really happy song if i'm going through a sad moment i'll sing a sad song and I just have these lyrics in my head. I won't necessarily be out loud just singing it. If I'm in a good mood, I probably will be. But so lyrically, it's just I feel like what I've enjoyed the most out of my BTS journey is just the first freaking army. Y'all are amazing people. I am now army. So I feel like we are amazing people. And uh, but then on top of that, just like the self growth that I've had because of this because of like the message of bts loving yourself and i feel like to truly love other people you have to love yourself more 
and um and i really that's something that i was lacking a lot in my life i didn't love myself as much as i feel like i should and uh and i'm still learning but that's the most enjoyable thing i think thank you very much for the question what's been yours what's your most favorite thing about your bts journey jennifer said have you had any moments of self-reflection <laughs> while dissecting the music of bts <laughs> jennifer most definitely i'm sorry i answered your question already but yes i have definitely had a lot of self-reflection um while dissecting bts music if you go back and watch like some of my first ones i think a lot of it i was just like overcome with like um what was going on just so i i i'm gonna be going back eventually and watching and doing full experience reactions to stuff like outro tier because we hadn't really done that like i literally just started off my reaction channel with like a live performance of outro tier and so we're gonna be going back and doing some of those and i'd like to kind of further dive into that but like you can kind of see now the way that we do these full experience reactions there's a lot of self-reflection and even the stuff that we're reacting to on our patreon like the uh the paid for content like um burn the stage bring the soul and stuff there's a lot of things that they talk about that i try to think about in my personal life and so yeah bts is a huge plethora of like information for you to sit there and reflect on and how to be a better person even though they're so young like i mean man it doesn't matter how old you are the fact that like bts has not like they haven't been around as long as we have you know what i mean like i i, I say we but myself personally i'm in my early 30s and like they're younger than me and they're so freaking smart and they're so like there's so much to learn from them so i just try to take in as much as i can they're very very influential but they're also very just like they're beautiful mind so yeah self-reflection all the time every freaking bts song i feel like there's something you can learn from it for sure thank you for the question jennifer boom somewhere in the world said yes <laughs> i like how you started this off already this might be very random but um are you open to more asian music besides k-pop for example more j-rock bands and even maybe japanese visual key a subculture subgenre in j-rock and j-metal yes or chinese taiwanese bands and artists i'm also curious how you plan your reaction videos and why you choose the format of reaction videos you currently are using and also um do you also plan to maybe search information about the band or artist beforehand in the video or afterwards because whenever i find a new artist or a band i usually try to look them up on the internet etc i don't know if you're gonna answer these questions uh or whether i'll be able to see your answer but these are just questions popping up in my head i like your style listen i'm a totally random person and if you watch my twitch streams i read like everything in in chat so here we go to answer your first question a thousand percent i've already been checking out some japanese metal bands and definitely some j-rock bands i love both of those and if you've got some suggestions of bands you'd like me to check out please let me know i'm for sure down send me messages because right now that's probably like the best way for you to send them to me how we do the format for our video it's been something that kind of like organically happened me and meg were doing um she does like all of our scheduling and stuff she does like all of the bts scheduling so for bts stuff how we do our schedule in that we've recently kind of gotten to where we're doing like some shorter videos but we want to do like at least one full experience reaction every week and i think the full experience came from where you're saying here do i research them beforehand or afterwards i definitely do it afterwards i try not to go into anything research beforehand but afterwards i love checking out more about the band so we just decided to do it all in one video like for one song like say deshita for instance we'll watch like the lyric video so i can find out what they're talking about what he's what he's singing to me about then we'll watch a music video making up of a music video if there's like an interview where sugar's talking about like what he was writing about we'll watch that we'll watch the live performance i like to really really dive into songs as well as like bands and artists i love doing that so yes a thousand percent so hopefully those answer your question and thank you so much for the question dun 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 dun, dun. Rhonda, thank you for the question you said is there a particular song or performance 
that you feel has had the greatest impact on you personally? Hmm. I'm going to take a swig from this really quick. Okay. So, greatest impact on me personally. Huh. I think I'm going to have to say, whoa, what have we done here? Sorry. For me personally, I think Epiphany is probably one of the most impactful songs that I've listened to recently. Um, especially since I've started reacting. Definitely going to be Epiphany because it kind of helped me. I think I've said this before, but like used to, my wife would be like, oh, you're always checking yourself out. You're always checking yourself out. Like anytime there's a mirror there, I'm like looking at myself and like, look right now I'm looking at myself and I notice my hair looks like, I don't even know. It's a hot mess going on under this beanie. So like I, I constantly do that. I don't know why, but something that after I listened to that song, Epiphany, um, and like Jin, freaking beautiful dude. So if anybody should be vain or could be vain, it's definitely him. You know what I mean? Like he could definitely do that. But even knowing that he has had these like moments of self-doubt and he's pretty much saying like, dude, you should love yourself. I'm the one I should love. And uh, that one for me helped me out the most. I think the greatest impact on my life has been that song. I think. Yeah, for sure. Thank you for the question though, Rhonda. Hopefully that answers it. Bum bum. Okay, here we go. Holly asked, what age were you when you started playing guitar? Uh, do you come from a musical family? <clears throat> so I was, uh, I started, I got my first guitar. It was like a Squire whenever I was like 13 or something like that. And it just sat under my bed. I think I remember strumming o open notes and I was like, yeah, just went under my bed. I never played it. And then I started singing in a lot of bands. And I was doing like metal screams and stuff like that and a ton of bands. And uh, all the band members that I was in a band with at the time were like really big potheads. And uh, just like every time we were like, oh, let's have a band practice. I'd just be waiting out there. Like I had a band house, like we had a detached house from my house. It was like a small little one bedroom, little like, um, like one of those Amish building houses. I don't know if y'all know what I'm talking about. It's a really tiny thing. And we had like a PA system and guitar amps and a drum set up in there. So I'd wait around nobody showed up and it's like eight o'clock at night nobody even calls i'm like dang it we're supposed to have band practice turns out they were just getting high so i remember i was in my house i called my uncle and he was like a professional professional drummer and uh i called him and i was like really upset i was like man i really want to do music more than anything in the world i can't even like i want it more than i want to breathe i'm like obsessed with music <clears throat> but I was like, I can't do anything. I'm like stuck here. I'm sitting on my hands. I'm waiting on people and they're just not showing up. And he was like, why are you waiting on other people? And I was like, uh, because I can't play guitar. And he was like, why don't you learn how to play guitar and then start writing songs to your music? And I think I was 16 whenever I started writing guitar. After he told me that though, literally probably like two months later, I had wrote like, I don't even know how many songs. I got obsessed. I started learning like, Every song that I was really into, like I would listen to, I would try to learn how to play it on guitar. And I'd look up tabs, started buying Ultimate Guitar magazines, and uh, I just went for it, man. I got obsessed with learning how to play guitar. And um, yeah, so from 16 to 18, I just kept playing, kept playing, kept playing, got obsessed with it. And then 18, whenever we, we won like a battle of the bands right before I got out of high school, <clears throat> and then went on tour. And uh, the rest is history. I, But as far as the musical family, like the house that I grew up in, it was like basketball and sports and stuff like that. I was a very black sheep in my family. I was like a little skate punk, like a skateboarder. And uh, and then I got into metal and then I started playing music. So no, like it was me and my brother are uh, musicians, but everybody else in the house is like athletes and, and stuff like that. But thank you for the question, Ollie. Dun, 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 dun. Nikki said... What's the best part of reacting? Uh, what? Oh, yeah. I completely misread your question. I'm so sorry. It says, <laughs> what's the part of reacting that you dislike the most? So for me, there's this one thing that my camera will do. I don't know why, but my camera will not pick up sometimes. It just doesn't work. Like the communication between camera and computer completely doesn't work. And sometimes I'll have to turn my computer off, turn off my camera like 14 times before I even get to sit down and do one reaction. So probably that. But as far as like the music and stuff, 
I've said this a few times. I guess people just don't know if I'm being serious or not, but like I'm only posting reactions that I like. I do tons that I don't like. And if you don't see me react to something, it's because I didn't like that song. I don't want to be like a negative person on my channel. And I don't want to like talk bad about a song. So if I've posted a reaction, it's because I really enjoyed it. And I wanted to share that with you guys. And there's been a ton of songs where like I'll react to them and I didn't like them. So I just didn't post it. Like I'll watch the entire song. And then I, I won't even finish the reaction. I'll just like stop recording. I'm like, nah, I'm good. So either way, like, yeah, there's not, I guess probably the technical problems are the ones that I dislike about it. But I love the fact that we've got like such an open um, relationship that I can just be like, if I, y'all know that I'm only going to post stuff like that. I don't have to post everything. So that's why I like, I guess, the most about it. Boop. All right, here we go. Ruffles, I think said <laughs> and if i said your name wrong i'm so freaking sorry uh what aspect of music are you drawn to oh my god like literally everything from lyrics i absolutely love lyrics lyrics in the message of music is probably my favorite thing if we're being completely honest that to me is like everything is like my wife is a really big fan of like beats and rap songs and so she'll be like oh i love this song and play it and then i'm listening to the lyrics i'm like you like this what why do you like this and she's like oh i don't even know what it's talking about i love the beat listen to the beat and i'm like oh okay so first and foremost it's probably going to be the lyrics that's what draws me in the most the lyrics and what it is actually talking to me about but then past that i'm a huge vocal fan i love people that can do stuff that i can't do or that i'm like that's really interesting and i'll try to do that i guess i like challenges so i like to be challenged as a vocalist as well and then trying to find out what they're doing it's really cool so vocals next and then all the music if there's a <clears throat> if there's a cool guitar part i'm like yes but yeah everything honestly music is like my life so for sure but definitely starts off lyrics vocals then instruments thank you for the question wow natasha all right here we go does people all right do people make fun of you or say that you only do bts reactions for views oh my freaking gosh yes it hasn't happened a lot recently now <clears throat> Cause we've been almost, almost been doing it for like a year, but I got so much hate whenever I first started doing it. I'm a metalhead. I have a lot of friends that are metalheads and a lot of friends were like, dude, you're checking out boy bands. Oh my God. I hope they pay you good enough. <clears throat> we don't get paid for reactions. Just to let y'all know that. Um, so like, I don't know what the point of like doing reactions strictly for views would be really because you're not making money off those views. Maybe people just want the vanity, I guess, of having a lot of views, but like, I don't know. And especially at this point, like I would definitely, I don't know. I don't know why people would keep up that if they're just chasing views for so long. I love doing this. And actually at this point, it's taken up so much of my life. I just, I enjoy it. But yes, I've had people say that for sure. Mm -mm -mm. You said growing up in a family of musicians, my dad is pretty open to listen to anything good, but my friends are another story. So yes, most definitely. Like my mom actually, um, <clears throat> she's a huge BTS fan now. Like she's obsessed with BTS and I love that. I actually introduced her to it. I think at first she got into it cause she was like, what's my son doing? And then, uh, and then now she's obsessed with him. So it's cool that your dad's like that as well too. Or like he's open to listen to it, <clears throat> but your friends being another story. Trust me. I've had that come from so many places. Like whenever I first got into doing uh, BTS reactions, I'd already been doing reactions to other bands as well too. But I was really in the gaming community and <clears throat> it's a very, I didn't realize how competitive that the Twitch gaming community really is. A lot of people will be like, oh yeah, we're all friends. We're all family and stuff. And then they're really just like, why weren't you in my stream the other day? Hmm? You don't like me anymore and they're like you know kind of like weird like that so they're very competitive for views and uh whenever I first started doing bts reactions my channel kind of started growing a ton and um yeah i had a lot of people that were telling me that i was only watching bts stuff for views and started hating on me and they didn't even really like watch the videos where i'm like telling people why i like stuff i don't know i'm a very transparent person and i feel like what's the point of me telling you guys something 
<clears throat> like, what's the point of me lying to you about it? You know what I mean? I don't know. Either way, Natasha, thank you so freaking much for that question. And uh, hopefully your friends will come around one day. And if not, like, listen, there's a, that's what I like about BTS. There's, like, so many different songs of theirs. And they have so many different styles. So if, like, one of your friends is like, huh, I'm not into boy bands, hit them with some freaking, like, UGG. Or hit them with some ciphers and see what they think about it. Hit them with Jimin's new song. I don't know. Either way, thank you for the question. Ba -da 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 -da. Crystal! <clears throat> you said, have an awesome time making the greatest memories. I suppose my question would be, when it comes to BTS, what is it about each of them that makes you admire them? What are your top five favorite songs? Yes, and why? Finally, what got you into reactions? I like this question because like we can we can take our time with this so here we go what do i admire about them like as individuals there's so much to admire about them like for instance i love sugar's just sugar and rm and j-hope i love their songwriting abilities i feel like for them like the song is everything <clears throat> i think like sugar is obsessive with songwriting rm is obsessive with songwriting j-hope's obsessive i feel like the other band members are as well too but like just they started kind of being the songwriters and i think now they're all all songwriters and i think that's really cool <clears throat> but like individually i think they all have just these really they all have something that you can learn from them you know i think the best human in the world would be that guy or girl or whoever that like encompasses everything that all seven of those members are they all have something beautiful that you can inspire to strive to be better at you know what i mean and uh like Jin, for instance such a hard worker just like a beautiful spirit tries to bring positivity to anything he's in i love that hmm. top five favorite songs and why hmm okay here we go life goes on love that it's a beautiful song, first of all. Like, musically, it's just beautiful. The message is really good. And, uh, the, like, I guess the feelings that come to me whenever I hear that. I love that song a lot. <clears throat> Epiphany as well, too. And I know those are both kind of, like, in that same sh style of BTS. But I love that one as well. And then Idol. Because that's kind of, like, one of my hype songs. Fire. We're, we're at four now? Oh, we are only at four? Oh, God. Cypher four? I don't know. Oh, either way, there's so many good ones, though. That's a hard one. But if we're talking about like all over, not just not just BTS songs, I don't even know, man. I don't know how I could even say that, but phew, that's a hard question outside of BTS right now. There's just that will rotate daily. That's awesome, though. Finally, what got me into reactions? <clears throat> I really love music and I wanted to be able to like show people the music that I really liked. And so my first couple of reactions were like new songs from my favorite bands like Trivium. And uh, <clears throat> so, yeah, I don't know. I just really wanted to be able to like connect with people over music because for me, that's always been something that I love doing. I used to tour a lot and I was able to connect with people about music on the road from all over the place and i found once i got out of my tiny little town like i grew up in a very very rural town in tennessee and i found out once i got outside of that little town that more people were like me than i thought <clears throat> i kind of grew up and like everybody had like a skull can in their back pocket where i'm wearing like a i don't know like a trivium shirt or something like that and so i just like kind of grew up completely different from my surroundings and once i found out that like there were more people like me I just kind of got addicted to meeting new people like that and just like finding out more about the world out there so i think that's what really got me into reactions in the first place and as far as what got me into bts reactions <clears throat> that would be that girl meg that girl meg actually like in um she'd asked me a ton if i would start doing some reactions to bts and at first i was like i didn't know anything about them i just kind of knew that they were like i thought korean boy band uh you know the like whole stereotypical thing and i was very into my metal stuff uh but then once i really started getting um we were in new orleans and i was intoxicated and i was waiting on some hot wings to come from a doordash driver that took forever <clears throat> or maybe it's because i was really drunk and thought it took a long time 
But Meg pulled up on the TV, YouTube, and we watched some sugar. And I think we watched Augusty, and I was like, this is not what you told me BTS was, Meg. I thought BTS was like Poppy and stuff like that. What am I watching right now? This is freaking awesome. And so that really got me interested in the BTS. And then she sent me a song, and she was like, just watch this. Just do a reaction to this. And it was Outro Tear. And then I was like, okay, I'm down. Just send me some songs. I'll react to them for sure. So for sure, that that's what it is. Yeah. Thank you for the question, Crystal. And also, thank you. If anybody doesn't know, right now I'm actually going to be on a cruise. And um, yeah, I'm going to be gone for a whole week. I'm actually terrified about it. But I'm excited as well, too. Thank you very much, Crystal, for the question. Hmm. Parmesan, I guess. One of my favorite cheeses, if that is your name. And I'm reading it correctly. I hope I am. Either way, I hope you are doing good. Thank you very much for the question. <clears throat> you said, hope you have a great vacation. I'm a new sub, uh, but I've been binging your vids. Thank you so freaking much. Well, quick question for you then. If you're binging my videos, like what brought you uh, to my channel? What was the first video of mine that you saw? I love watching people discover BTS, and I'm wondering what have you learned along this journey so far? There have been numerous things that I've learned, to be honest with you. But like, <clears throat> to give you my top, learning to love myself and what i mean by that that's a very broad statement but what i mean by that is like learning to appreciate the good things that i do like the good parts of my personality and like appreciating just i guess what i can bring in the world so that's something i think that bts has definitely helped me um learn along this journey <clears throat> and then also I have found my voice again. I know it says metal vocalist reacts in all of my reactions, but if we're being honest with ourselves, guys, like I haven't recorded vocal tracks, like new vocal stuff for months, months. And it really, really got to me for a while there. And BTS, man, they helped me so freaking much learn to just be able to be like confident again and love my own voice again. So yeah, that I'm going to give you that one. That one's probably my favorite thing actually too. Loving myself and appreciating my voice and like finding my voice again. Yeah. So whenever y'all hear some new music, it might be my genre. It might be like some metal type stuff, but know that it's very heavily influenced by BTS. In their beautiful message thank you so much for the kind words and thank you very much for the question and that's the last freaking question guys huh and it's already been like 30 something minutes thank y'all so freaking much for this for real like <clears throat> ha huh. also i gotta say anybody that's watching this still thank you you're a freaking trooper i am a horrible reader like i cannot read to save my freaking life and i blame that all on my tiny little rural town education okay so either way anybody that's here from twitch right now y'all gotta like a little bit clap because i feel like i did pretty okay reading those questions not stumbling too often but i know this is different for us on a sunday to be doing this type of reaction i just wanted to kind of get everybody together and let y'all know like thank y'all how much i appreciate you guys how much i appreciate this journey if i've helped anybody even in the slightest bit that's just me paying it forward because y'all have helped me out insanely Ha. Huh. Okay. Not going to get emotional. Ha. Huh. But for real, 50,000 subscribers. And that's not a number for me. That's like 50,000 freaking people. And I'm like blown away by the fact that we've had so much support on this channel. So like, thank you guys. Thank y'all so freaking much. I'm going to live stream me getting a tattoo, by the way. So whenever you guys see the 50,000 subs live stream tattoo, I'm going to be getting that sometime soon. And uh, yeah, I'll try not to scream too much. I'm kidding. I'm kidding. I'm kidding. Either way, I love you guys to death. And uh, yeah, we'll freaking call it there. Hopefully, you guys learned something new. I would love to do more Q&As. This was actually a lot funnier than I thought. I was like, man, I'm just going to be boring as all get out reading stuff. And I don't know. Hopefully, uh, yeah, hopefully we can do another one of these soon. We'll do another one for 100,000. How about that? We'll shoot for that. And then I'm going to be doing a silver play button giveaway. We'll do that as well, too. Either way, guys, I love y'all to death. For real, 
wish me luck. I'm totally freaking nervous about this, uh, about this cruise. I don't know, <clears throat> but, uh, it's going to be fun. And I will see you guys back. If I don't get to stream Sunday, I'll stream Monday, uh, of next week. I promise. And I'll see y'all then freaking toodles. <laughs>